Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So we are starting with the first step is CAD modeling. I hope you all are aware with the CAD modeling and SolidWorks. So here I am creating a mod, random CAD model so that we can proceed for the topology optimization the ANSYS software. So now it is step 2 static analysis. For this we have to open ANSYS workbench. I am using 2021 version of ANSYS So it is the main window of the ANSYS workbench Here I, am, I will open the static structural module So here we can see that the first option is about the material Here the default material structural steel uh, And I am not going to change anything here so this is the ascent curve you can see and the all prop material properties are shown here like in strength ultimate strength so now we have uh, made one part uh, i will import that one so now it is ok we, uh, we will double click on the model so it will start uh, another environment it is opening another window so now it is open it is processing our model that we have made previously in the SOLIDWORKS Okay, so now it is showing here uh, we can see that uh, the exact model uh, has been import imported here our de already defined material is shown here with the same material properties first of all we have to update and oh, we can generate the mesh here that is the first thing we have to do so it is some course meshing is there we have to optimize uh, by exploring these options in the bottom left corner We can change the element size here. Let it update. Okay. We will update again the machine. So now it is getting updated uh, with the smaller size of the element. So we can see that uh, it is more fine. 
how well we can uh, optimize more more this model but uh, we will proceed with this one Now we will insert the what are the supports. So I am uh, considering uh, one fixed support at the bottom of the model. So we will apply that one and uh, also fix support at the bore of the, that holes. So uh, I will select uh, those faces. Yes, that bottom one and inner eye of the hole, and you can see that uh, other options for that support. Uh, are available. Like cylindrical elastic support, frictionless support, remote displacement, displacement. So I have selected the bottom face and it is okay. Now I will select again fix support. That is done. So I am proceeding for the force. Uh, I have selected the top face of the, this model. Uh, as we can see that the uh, as per the coordinate direction, uh, I am selecting the force in the negative z direction. So it is like uh, force is coming from the uh, top to down on that face and apply it. I will insert again the force but now on the different face that right uh, right side face and apply the force in the positive x direction uh, that is force from the left to the right direction and I need to insert the result. I will need default total deformation and equivalent stress. So now I will click on solve. So this uh, this model scatting solve we have to allow for, for some request. It will take a long time. I have fast forward this video. Okay, so here the solution is completed. We can see the some contours of the deformation here
school in this way, this model will behave according to our fixed supports and look what are the forces applied by us. Okay, now we will check for both layers of total information and included distress. And here we can see uh, we have in the, those max, max and min values, so we can refer to those values. Okay, uh, let me save this project also. So this part is static, structural and saving. So now we will proceed for the step three. Top that is topology operation. For that, uh, we will uh, take topology of your optimization model, and that we that we will put on the solution tab. So it will link. Now we can see that uh, this topology optimization model have the results from the static structural, and we can define some analysis setting here. But I'm keeping uh, as it is as default in circle for a quick setting. Geometry of circuit or morning bond recognition or bond recognition that is considered in the static structural. We will select all boundary condition. Okay, now we will proceed for the objective tab. Your response type is given compliance, stress, mass, volume, criteria. So I will keep it default. Goal is to minimize. Basically, we have to minimize the weight. Okay, so that is important response constraint. We are going to get response in the mass by for retention of we have to retain 14 percent of mass okay so now i will see what results we can improve uh, that is topology, topology density okay now i am solving this one it will take some time it is running with the 500 iterations Okay, now it's completed. So we can see that uh, we have got some deformed model with the uh, less material. So we can see that this is the optimized model that we have targeted to retain the 40% of mass. 
we can uh, export this model to the STL file for the post processing to become this part manufacturable. Okay, now I will just check the exported model. No solid works. So we have successfully taken the output of the topology automation in the ANSYS from ANSYS to SOLIDWORKS so we can now take some measurements here and uh, modify our model we are sure this model is not to for use uh, we can use for uh, some measurement so that we can reduce material from our model with the ease of manufacturing 